Zach Garrett explains the pinpoint precision required to make the USA's Olympic program. The first time I shot a bow was when my grandpa actually made like this little stick bow for me. I was four. So it's been a 16 year endeavor at this point. <laughs> you can never perfect it. You can be your best, but you can't perfect it. It takes a lot of mental energy to uh, do something so repetitious for 300 times a day, and then to go to a tournament and be able to do the same thing time and time again under a tournament pressure. It weeds out people pretty quick. The Olympic distance is 70 meters. That's all anybody in the Olympics shoots anymore. If you do the technique the right way, the arrows will group close together. But if you mess up, then the arrow is going to go off. So very, very small differences in your technique make huge differences at 70 meters. The Olympic Training Center uses state-of-the-art equipment and technology to fine-tune the archer's technique. In the 3D room, there's eight infrared sensors throughout the room. They're like little cameras. And then we wear these little balls that have infrared reflective tape on them. It will have some on my shoulders, wrists, arm, and it'll plot something that looks like a really detailed stick figure of me. And it'll give you super small measurements of what those points are doing movement-wise during the whole shot. If I went in there on a day where I was shooting really well and I recorded myself, and then a month from now I'm not shooting well, I can go in there, record myself when I'm not shooting well, and see what's the difference. To be able to quantify that is, it's a huge advantage. It's like, okay, well, my hand was like three millimeters in a different position when I was feeling good versus when I was feeling bad. Okay, well, I'll correct my hand, see if that fixes the problem. And then all of a sudden it's, you have a direction rather than just blindly guessing. Garrett also uses the ultra slow motion camera to analyze the minutia of his technique and details that can't be seen by the human eye. We're looking at some high speed video footage of the actual like shot itself. Um, and so you're able to see some really interesting things about the way the arrow uh, and the archer reacts when the bow is released. That kind of thing shows me in fine detail kind of what's going on with my equipment when I release. So that'll give me some knowledge to go back if I want to tune my bow and then see the changes the different tuning factors make on the equipment. It's about precision. It's about consistently being able to be precise under pressure. Because we're shooting from such a distance, if I were to do a drawing of the way those angles played out, you're thinking about a triangle. So if I change the angle slightly down here, you can see how the tips of my fingers move way more than the part of my hand where my finger touches my palm. It's the same thing when you're shooting. So if I make a really small movement down at the line, it makes a huge movement down at the target. A couple thousandths of an inch, a millimeter is going to move you well over three inches at the target face. That's, that can be the difference between a lot of things. <laughs> the archery equipment market is kind of centered around being able to change your setup change how much weights you put on your stabilizers, change how heavy your bow weight is, change what weight of points you shoot, change the kind of string you shoot, how thick your string is. All of these different things are like these little customizable minutia of the shot that people seem to think make a huge difference. I'll customize my stuff, but also like make my own stuff. I make the stabilizers that I shoot. I made my finger tab. Like all these different things are things that I've made myself because I felt like there wasn't a product on the market that did exactly what I wanted it to. And I knew how to make it better. When everything kind of comes together and you, you go to a tournament and you execute your plan and you do it well, there's a feeling of relief. There's this feeling of accomplishment. It's like everything I just trained for paid off.